ओके हियर आई विल राइट ओ एस पी एफ ऑथेंटिकेशन हियर आई विल राइट आर वन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इनेबल कॉन्फ़िग टी होस नेम आर वन इंटरफ़ेस सेम थिंग व्हाट वी डू बिफोर IP address whatever IP you have one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two l dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, and we write no shirt then interface path Ethernet one slash zero, IP address this already you know this one just I am assigning the IP two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, and we write no shirt now we need to enable the OSPF so I will write router OSPF one, okay and here. Interface pass Ethernet zero by zero, IP OSPF one, area zero, and also here we have one loopback. So I will say interface loopback zero, IP address one dot one dot one dot one two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero, and same thing we need to enable for all the interface. So I will say here like this, interface F one by zero, and this is a loopback zero. Hello zero. So this is the R one configuration. Okay, we enable the OSPF here without authentication. We don't have any authentication here. Let me take the CLI of this all router. And here I will take. This is router only, but we are saying this is a PC. So this is the R1. Here I am going to paste that configuration. So everything is good. I will save the configuration in the R1. Now we need to do the R2 configuration. So let me copy the R1 configuration. I am going to paste here, and we are going to see here R2. And let's see F0 by 0 is 12.2. So this should be 12.2. And here we don't have this interface. We have only loopback, and loopback should be 2.2.2.2. Okay. So here I will remove this. This is only the configuration. I hope. If you see, R two you have this F zero by zero loopback two, and everything is good here. So now I will copy this one. I will paste here. Everything is good here. Okay, everything is good. I save the configuration here. Now we need to do the PC configuration. That is, this is PC, but actually this is a router only. We are saying PC. In real scenario, you will have PC, but now to do the attack, I am doing this one as a PC. I will use the router. So PC configuration. The name I can give as a PC. And F zero by zero should be one dot two. We don't have loop back here. And we have only this one. Okay, this is a PC configuration. F zero by zero, we have IP one dot two, and we enable the OSP. That's all. So this is the configuration for PC one. So let's see here. This PC one is also okay. So actually, this is the normal PC working in your company. He is not the IT guy or anything. He is normal guy. But if you see, he is having the OSPF he run, <coughs> and he is getting all the routes. If you check in this PC show IP route, you are this guy is getting the routes from the OSPF. Who oh, this guy? So this is not secure. We need to secure this network. <coughs> So what we will do? We will do the authentication. Okay, we will do the authentication. If you write, this is a normal PC. If I write here, you are getting the root in the normal PC. This is a PC one. So this PC one guy is getting the roots. He then after that he will try to attack the network. Now he has all the roots on already. If you have lot of roots here, that all will come to this PC. So now you will have the issue. So what we can do? We can do the authentication. If we enable the authentication, this PC will not start working. So how we can enable means first I will do in the R one. 
we need to create the key chain we will say key chain give the name any name we can give then i will write key key number 1 then we need to create the key string give any string here i am giving cisco 1 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> then go under the interface where you want to enable so example fast ethernet 1 by 0 i need to enable here so i will write here ip ospf ospf authentication message digest and then after that ip ospf message okay digest key number 1 because we are using only first key right so md5 and whatever the string we need to give whatever string we define here here we define this string okay so i will put this here so this way we will enable the string if you see here what i done first i create the key chain i give the name as cisco key chain name then i say i have key 1 so i am using key number 1 then in that key one we will write password so key string the password then where you want to enable this one i am here i am here which router in the r1 so r1 this interface this interface this interface total three interface <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so what i will do i need to enable this under three interface <coughs> so this first interface is finish f uh, which one uh, this one now i need to enable another so i will copy this i will put here three time and we will say the other one is f0 by 0 and the other one is loop back 0 okay same thing we need to put this is a standard method you need to create the key chain then put the key and assign the key to the string password to that one and this is the interface here 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 i am enabling so we will see now let's see i will copy and paste sometime maybe we will do the what we can say spelling mistake so we need to check here yeah i done this wrong here what i done this is f1 by 0 or what is that interface not f10 <laughs> f0 by yeah this is f0 by 0 not the f1 by 0 so let's see here okay so now this one is pending i will put this also so everything is good we apply it to the r1 same thing we need to do to r2 also and now neighborship will go down uh, if you see neighborship expire why neighborship expire because we enable the authentication one side other side we did not enable and here also if you see the attacker cannot access our network before he can access because what i done here i enable the password here uh, here and this loop back here so now attacker is not having the same password so this neighborship go down here also go down so i need to put the same password here and here so this will start working but this will not start working because we will not give the password to this guy so same thing i will copy this from here to here i will go to r2 and here in r2 i will put this same thing we will use an interface f0 by 0 so no need for this one this interface we will enable the authentication and this interface so that's all only this much and here in this row this one pc1 no need to enable this is the attacker here we will not do anything so this is a r2 configuration you will go inside the r2 in the global configuration mode and you can put the password okay you put the password now if you see neighborship is going up so r2 r1 is start working this both is start working if you want you can check also you can see you are getting the ospf root so r2 r1 is start working see 
but if you see pc1 is not having so pc1 go down because pc1 is not having the password he is not having the any osp for root now so this way we will protect the our network so what we done here if you see here just simple here to here just assigning the ip enabling the ospf <laughs> this one is the authentication method first you will create the keychain and give the name to the keychain which key you are using and give the key string and this one wherever you want to put this authentication go on to that interface write ipospf of authentication message dashes ipospf of message dashes key which key number we give that one we will use and the md5 method we are using to encrypt and what is the key string that value we need to give here that's all wherever you want to enable under that all interface you will enable so we enable here 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 and here so this attacker is not having that password so he cannot send any data to us okay if you see he try but he cannot nothing he is getting before he has but when we put the password his neighborship go down okay so this one we can say ospf authentication method 